everyone, I am here today to do another book review with you and today's book review is going to be on Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. So as usual, I am going to start off with a quick overview, then going into what I thought of the book, and then I may jump into a few spoilers, but I will let you know if any spoilers are coming, so don't you worry. Don't worry. Be happy. So this is a contemporary YA novel about a young girl named Anna. And Anna is being sent over to Paris to do her final year of high school in an American school in Paris. So at first Anna is really upset because she doesn't want to go, she doesn't want to leave Atlanta, leave all of her friends and blah blah blah. Which once again I say boo hoo, like you're being sent to Paris, suck it up and deal with it. Anyway, so she ends up going over there, she's feeling really lost, she doesn't know any French and she ends up meeting a group of friends. So first off she meets a girl named Meredith and Meredith kind of takes her under her wing and brings her into her group of friends, which is where she meets Rashmi, Josh, and Etienne St. Clair. So the story revolves kind of around Anna and her all of a sudden meeting this boy, Etienne, or as everyone calls him, St. Clair, and it's kind of like their relationship developing. Etienne, of course, is this perfect boy, you know, could do no wrong. He has a British accent, he's very good looking, very charming. He's just one of those guys that every girl kind of like dreams about, I guess. But of course, Etienne is perfect in every single way, except for the fact that he, of course, has a girlfriend. So Anna finds this out and she's very disappointed, but she doesn't let that stop her from being friends with Etienne and they end up becoming very great friends. And I don't really know what else to say about this book besides it is, you know, a light read. It is it's definitely a love story. You can tell by reading the inside flap that Anna begins to crush on Etienne and the whole book is just kind of their relationship developing. So there's the book in a nutshell. Now, did I enjoy this book? I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, maybe leaning more towards 4.5, but since you can't do 0.5s, I brought it down to a 4. I really enjoyed this book. I, I, I couldn't put it down. I was up until almost one or two in the morning every night reading it. It only took me a few days to finish. It was a really enjoyable read. If you like contemporary, definitely give it a go. If you like love stories, this is for you. I think that pretty much any girl who reads this is going to really, really, really enjoy this book. The reason why I didn't give it a five out of five is because I kind of found that a certain relationship in it, was, it made me a bit uncomfortable. I may jump into that more in the spoiler section, but I'm pretty sure you can tell just by reading the book that of course, you know, Anna does crush on Etienne and maybe Etienne leads her on a little bit. Other than that, this book was freaking fantastic. So absolutely, you need to check this out. If you haven't already, I definitely recommend it. Spoiler alert, so now I'm jumping into it a little bit further. So if you have not read the book and you do not want to be spoiled, then thank you so much for watching. Definitely pick this book up and give it a try. If you had read this book and you want to stay and chat with me for a second, then please stay because I have something that I would like to discuss. Okay, so spoilers. Now, of course, I don't even know if this is really a spoiler, but the fact that you know, the relationship between Etienne and Anna kind of like develops and he, you know, spends the nights with her over Thanksgiving. It just seems like he's clearly like he's giving her poetry books, he get, he's giving her all these gifts, he's taking her like on all these little things. And I just have a really big issue with this because he has a girlfriend. And so many people think, oh, it's so cute, you know, screw Allie, Anna deserves him. But no, like, I disagree with that completely. It made me very uncomfortable because speaking as a girl who's been in a relationship with a guy who's done just that, it's disgusting. So I wasn't as infatuated with Etienne as I know a lot of people may have been. Personally, I kind of thought he was a sleazeball. Like if you wanted to be with Anna, then break up with Ellie. It's as simple as that. You don't lead on Anna, you don't lead on Meredith. And then of course, continuing on with your relationship with another girl. So he's like developing all these feelings for Anna, but he's still going and shacking up with Ellie. Mmm. Mm-mm. I do not approve of that. No, sir. That was really my only issue with this book. I don't know. If you felt the same about St. Clair, let me know. If you felt completely differently, let me know. But that's just how I felt. I thought he was kind of a dog. I, I know that it, for the book's sake, it made the story a bit more interesting. But then again, not really. Like, I think that he could have broken up with her a while ago and they could have, like, continued on in their back and forth kind of thing with the whole Meredith situation. But yeah, so I wasn't really very thrilled with the whole Etienne-Anna relationship. Finally ended up together in the end, but 
I'm not a fan of St. Clair. Sorry. So that was the reason why I only gave it the four out of five stars. Maybe if he wasn't such a doucher, then I would have given it a five. So there you go. So that is my whole review for Anna and the French Kiss. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. So we kick, push, and kick. Ear popped. Sun's in my face.